there's a bunch of spells that say like only your opponent's minions or only minions or only you know stuff like that like that that doesn't actually hurt you so it's like 65 percent of your in your favor when you play yogg all right i never said it was bad i said it can't be used as a last resort but i didn't do the math on it during that time though i don't think anybody did the math on it yeah. i think a lot of people originally wrote it off instantly yeah. I said it can be used as a last resort. That, like that's the only thing that I see. It as. It's just like you, you're you're kind of screwed, and then you just you just play it in the end, and then just hope for the best. Or you really want to use it as a win condition, you can use it with stuff like ice block. But then again, that's sort of weird too. Because uh, well, that's not even a good it, yeah, option. Yeah, it, it kills, we saw those tempo so. decks. Yeah, it, like yeah. Yogg ends up killing you more times than not because of like overdraw or random AOE effect or something like that. Like I, even after I just said like all the AOEs go in your favor, but Hellfire kills you. Yeah. You could randomly fireball yourself, <laughs> which happened. Power blast. So this is the discard zoo deck. Did we see this from him already? Pardon? We, we, this is the first time we're actually seeing zoo from. Uh, Top Ramos? I think so, yeah. It's just... And we're seeing oh, wait, wait, no, it's probably the second time, because he lost with it, right? Did he? Okay, then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. He lost yeah, against yeah, the dragon. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah, the uh, dragon one. The yeah. dragon warlock. Yeah, this was the first deck that, uh, yeah, Top Ramos actually played. Here he does have the, uh, Malkazar's Imp. So we're gonna see some crazy stuff go on. Mm -hmm. Go down. This is actually a very interesting kind of matchup, because then, um... Zoo Whew. most of the time kind of beats up the um, druid decks in general, but it all depends when the swipe is actually being played. Like how definitely much... fights against these tempo decks. Yeah, yeah, it's like how much of a tempo you're getting with your swipe. So... Well, this swipe's still pretty good. You get to clear off both the gang bosses, and you get to kill off one of the one-one minions, and you can clear the second one next turn with your hero power. Um, it might be better just to develop your with the claw as yeah, a yeah, six. Ooh, Ooh, I so... love the councilman with the imp here. It is a very sticky kind of board, so it's not bad. And imp is already shown that it needs to be one of those things that needs to be removed immediately, but so does councilman. So, Drew the Claw, what are you doing, buddy? Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Tiger, hello, what are we doing? Mark a yes Raj on Tiger? Seems good. Yeah, seems good. Uh, I would probably do that. It guarantees you the removal of the Dark, uh, the, uh, dark Shower Councilman. The councilman. Yeah. I think councilman needs to be your main... Removal, like the th remain. Yeah, the thing that you want to remove first because, geez, that creature can get way too large. And man, so more good minions. So gonna throw down the two imps. Gonna attack in. Wait, bad placement. Very <laughs> you just bad lost placement. The point of yeah. yeah, you just lost the point of damage. Yeah. You are not the boss of me. Interesting. Now if there's a discard card that um. Silverware so golem. Get a 3-3 three, three and draw 4? Mm -hmm. So gross. It's but yes. This board um, is looking great. Wait, I'm is he able to attack? I don't know, he's yeah. not. I'm, I'm not sure if this board itself has enough of, like, tempo that, uh, like, if this effect is actually has enough tempo to actually bring back the board to the side. Tempo card out of it? Like, it's gonna get probably a 1-1 one, one Imp, or yeah. maybe even uh, Belkazar's Imp as well. Yeah. So, like, that did end up costing him quite a bit. Gonna see how he's gonna fight this back. It looks like he's gonna go with an Argus play and trading it in. One of the imps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that placement, yeah, missing out that one damage to the um, Yeah, Councilman really cost him. Because then he has to do additional trading. Feels bad, man. So yeah. Because then you it, know that he will try to remove the Councilman first too, right? Do you, okay, if you okay, you don't actually have to put it on the imp. You kinda want the imp to stay alive. So I like putting it on the abusive, which makes it so that abusive is protected from swipe, and you put it on the the dryer wolf alpha because that's the main target that wanted that anyway. So he doesn't lose any damage here. He actually gets plus one. What, what do they use for the priest? Um, Purify. No, I'm kidding. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, You mean draw uh, engine? Yeah, draw engine. No shark cleric. Uh, yeah, no shark cleric. So yeah, it's just draw engine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Bakazar is also a draw engine, you know that. That's not a draw engine, that's just a draw. That's just a cycle card. Purify is a draw engine, dude. It's a cycle card. It's a draw engine. Cycle card. Depends how you view it. No, I'm kidding. A cycle card is where you play it and you get a card out of it. That is a cycle. It went 
went from your hand back to your hand. No loss of value. No loss of value. No loss of value. Never loss of value. You know, I played against the Purified deck. Oh, you, you gave that minion plus two plus two? No, no, that's gone. Everything is gone. Double trade, seems good. So that's a deal that with Tiger, but you get to go face and you're staying alive. Staying alive is what counts. Because then you could also do the Marco Yasuraj this turn. Mm -hmm. Or in his case, he looks like he wants to do Raven at all. Yeah, see what he gets first. A potentially a really good spell allows to like board to clear, right? Like swipe. Oh my god. Swipe? Swipe, swipe would be good. good. Yeah, swipe looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Well, I, I just mainly want to remove a bunch of creatures from the board this turn. Yeah. And swipe does exactly that. Yeah, you're probably going to swipe the imp and then just hear power down to flame imp. Are we getting. Oh, I was about to say, it's like, are we getting a Raven out of blood? But. Yeah, now you can see that, just the hero power. Yeah, and then he can just trade in his yeah, his tiger into the 2-3. Uh, Easy. It doesn't Easy set him up for lethal, does it, though? No, but... It... Well, let, let's take real quick. That'd be 5 attack with Savage Roar and the Savage Gabat next turn, because he'll have enough mana to do all the above, right? That's mm -hmm. 7, 8, 9. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Oh, but he took the Norsh. Yeah, the I, I, I think Yeah, I think you have to take the Footman here. Oh man, only if you had the Bethazar's Imps, it would have been insane! And this is the second time today we are seeing Silver Red Golem played as a 3-3 three, three for... Yeah. He actually had multiple ways to discard, and it probably makes a world of difference. Mm -hmm. Now I look at Hearthpone, like, a lot of the decks are very lackluster nowadays. Like, I don't normally look at it anymore, unfortunately. Well, it's because everybody yeah. can post on there, and that's the main yeah. problem, is that everybody yeah. posts on there. I, I used to always post on there, but back then, when I posted on there, those decks were... Well, you also needed... Yeah. Like, more people looked at the votes, but now there's, like, 50 decks of the same type that have the same amount of votes. Yeah. I can't tell if it's a lot of votes or too little votes. It yeah. looks all the same to me. Yeah. <laughs> Back then, the um, votes were pretty high. Like, you know, he might actually be able to swing back from this turn. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he's just playing the abusive as just a, a one two or two one minion, and then he's gonna trade. Is, is there a better trade? No, like you you put the wait. Does he have lethal? No, he's one off lethal. Yeah, he's one off lethal. Oh, so he's tapping to see if he gets power. Well, okay. Um, All right, I think he needs to trade. Yo, uh, W. Uh, yeah, he has to trade into the tiger, and then he trades into the savage combatant, and then he probably can't really lose them here. No, actually, can lose. From no, here. no, he still can. The word golem is to tap first, just to see what you can do, because he could have played the card anyway. Like he could have played the power overwhelming, which would have gave him lethal anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Wow, that Minaji, like even though that he's getting a crappy two-two out of the deal. Yeah, but that's a lot. Yeah, it still yeah. seems pretty good. Yeah. See, this is the um, thing about the discard warlock deck. I don't know. Well, okay, like he's looking for an instant win, or he doesn't care, yeah. like because he's probably gonna lose from this. Oh, he's doing it! He's doing it! He's yes! doing it! Discard the silver word, all please! <laughs> no! <laughs> Why? I think he's still dead, but you know, yeah, he is dead. it was worth a shot. Yeah. No, I, he's still alive by one. Really? He takes six. Oh wait, hero power. Forgot about that. Yeah, hero power, and then he's a savage boy. Seven, seven, six is thirteen exactly. So yeah, yeah he was exactly dead. 13, yeah. <laughs> Silverware golem. Oh, Why are you not a value card that you were supposed to be? Everybody wanted you to be the chosen one. You were supposed to be the infinite value card. You're supposed to be like discard a card, turn one, 